video to explain uh, how to use a car solenoid to power the um, outboard um, tilt. Uh, how do you tilt the outboard? red wire is coming from my Johnson 90 horsepower outboard and this black wire is coming from the uh, tilt motor um, so these two are coming from the motor um, okay I want to show you how to wire a car solenoid tilt and trim my outboard Johnson 90 horsepower so first of all we got uh, this big terminal on the solenoid car solenoid starting solenoid the and then there are two of them and then there are two small ones on the um, solenoid Anyhow, the big wire, this red wire and this black wire, uh, coming from the 12 volts battery here. So the 12 volts, it's the red wire and the black wire that feeds the uh, 12 volts DC power into the starting solenoid. The solenoid I have is, um, where is it? SAZ4201AL. This is the car um, starting solenoid. So the big terminal um, is connected to the red wire that came from the 12 volts DC battery, and the black wire is the battery negative power. And this black wire, these three wires, the black and green and uh, blue, they came from the uh, tilt and trim motor on my Johnson 90 horsepower. So the black wire from the tilt and trim motor outboard on the outboard should be connected to this small one. The black wire connected it with the black wire that came from the 12 volts DC battery. The blue wire right here should connect to the big terminal. The big terminal, the other big terminal of the starting solenoid. And the green wire came from um, uh, tilt and trim motor should be connected to the green wire that feeds all the way back into the remote control here. Okay, the remote control here. And here is the remote control that has the up and down switch. Okay, um, I'll demonstrate uh, this in a second. But, uh, for now, let me continue to uh, explain these wires, how to connect them. So we're done with two wires came from the batteries and the three up wires came from the tilt and trim motor on the outboard. The black connected it with connect to the small terminal and uh, connect on the same terminal with the uh, negative black wire from the battery. And then the blue wire feeds into this big terminal on the car starting solenoid. And this green wire just feeds and connect to the and this red wire came from the remote control on the boat should be connected to this big terminal and connected on the same terminal which the a positive from the battery and this blue wire came from the uh, remote control should be connected to the starting uh, solenoid, um, the small terminal, the other small terminal. So as you can see, the four terminals uh, have these different wires coming from the batteries and also coming from the trim and tilt motor on the outboard. That's how there is. That's um, how uh, the wiring should be done. And uh, 
from the car, they hardly, um, they hardly die. Um, so um, I initially I thought mine died, but no, because I actually found some uh, wire disconnected uh, and some loose knots on these uh, terminals. So the first thing you check is to make sure if, if your uh, trend and tilt uh, motor. Cannot go home, so uh, or you cannot go out. So anyhow, so um, let me connect the battery of the of the um, starting uh, starting solenoid and uh, demonstrate. down you can see it um, trimmed down. it actually has a stop switch meaning uh, as soon as uh, this motor hits the bottom the power shuts off you know so uh, same thing with uh, tilting the motor up you know so uh, that's that's pretty pretty good you know so anyway uh, These two wires came from the batteries, uh, you know, big terminal and small terminal for the positive and negative from the 12 volts battery. And these three wires came from the uh, tilt and trim motor. And the black terminal, I mean, black wire from trim and tilt terminal uh, uh, motor is uh, connected it with this, uh, to connect to this smart And the blue wire is connected to the big terminal on the starting solenoid. And, um, that's the three. How the three wires are supposed to. Uh, 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 uh. And then um, the green wire is supposed to connect to the control, control green. Wire. And um, there are only two uh, wires left on the remote control that came from the remote control. The red will connect it to the uh, positive with the uh, the 12 volts uh, battery red wire, and the blue will connect to the uh, small terminal. Uh, the last terminal that has nothing, no wires connected it. So this one is connected to the remote control. So the three wire and the green wire is attached to the green wire. Not connected to the starting solenoid at all. Uh, that's how you uh, connect the wires using the car starting solenoid. Our starting solenoid is relatively inexpensive uh, compared to the, um, the tilt and trim start, uh, solenoid. Okay, so anyhow, that's how the wiring.
Thank you.